So I know my lighting is awful right now and I have this horrible thing on my chin that I literally can't stop looking at. So if you can't, um, I'm sorry. But I filmed this video literally like two or three days after I started a Poshmark when I really didn't have much knowledge on brands or subcategories of brands and just all sorts of things like that. So I picked up things that weren't necessarily the most like hot brands and stuff like I see a lot of Forever 21 just because there's a lot of that available at my bins. Um, now I steer clear of Forever 21. I am going on a month of reselling as a good income and I've actually made quite a bit more sales doing it now and I have a lot more experience. Obviously I still have a ton, a ton, a ton to learn um, but watching this video and editing this video like kind of makes me cringe a little bit with the things that I picked up and I was like oh my gosh this is gonna be great so the majority of the items that you see in this video are still up in my Poshmark and at this point I really just want to move them they're still really good items but they're just not these high trending brands and stuff that people are looking for so if you see something in this video that you really like and you honestly don't care about like Forever 21 or other brands like that um, then head over to my Poshmark they're up um, and I'm accepting pretty low offers for these things so yeah as long as it's not like two or three dollars that you're asking um, I'm a very reasonable person <laughs> so I just really want to move these items so yeah if you see something like head over there make me an offer and yeah if not just continue on with the video that's that's all that I needed to say real quick hey guys what's up it's Rachel and I'm coming at you guys with another haul. I know I just did a haul like a little bit ago, but that haul was for me and my clothes. This haul is different because I recently started a Poshmark store and recently got completely sucked in and obsessed with all the people on YouTube that are resellers. Basically go thrift shopping for a living. Obviously there's a lot more to it and I quickly learned that, trust me. But it just seemed like a really fun thing to do and so far I'm having a blast. I've been doing it for like a little under a week at the point that you're seeing it now. I've already gotten one sale so I'm very excited about it. One thing that a lot of these resellers were saying was that basically when you start your Poshmark closet you kind of need to have a few listings right off the bat. So a lot of people are saying like 100 listings to 300 listings to start which is absolute insanity. So I realized that I needed to go shopping and to invest in my closet and find some things that I personally love a lot and that I think other people will like. So I recently dragged my boyfriend to the Goodwill Outlet Store, aka The Bins, as people call it, where basically all of the stuff that doesn't sell at Goodwills um, goes to this big warehouse and they bring out these big blue bins and fill it up with stuff and then people line up to look at it when they're setting it up and then they sprint and go crazy. You go through all these bins and dig through everything and have to be really careful because there's some really gross like things and glass and stuff that you can touch which is like not my favorite thing about it but I mainly just looked at the clothing. Then you get everything into your basket and you go weigh it and then they charge you by weight so it's like super cheap. It was an insane experience because one thing that I read, one of the main complaints about my specific one, and I think this probably happens at every single one, I don't think this is just mine, is that people hog baskets and just take baskets and bring like 10 family members with them so that they can each have a basket per person, you know that rule? Like the second we walked in, there were baskets lining the walls filled, like overflowing with all sorts of crap and there was a ton of people standing by the baskets and then there were other people shopping. So I kind of feel like they know that they can get past the rule which is like kind of wrong because it took us 20 minutes to have a basket available to us and we just wanted one, you know, but there's tons of people that had like 10 baskets. Another thing that happened was they cleared out whole sections of bins and then they brought new bins of stuff in and they were like yelling at people because people were trying to look through them when they were first bringing them out. Um, they were like yelling at them to get back and so there's like a huge line of people 
and then when they set everything up they'd be like okay go ahead and people were sprinting shoving falling like it was a whole thing and then they would go and grab huge handfuls of clothes and steal from other people's piles and it was like a madhouse. I've never seen anything like it in my life. And then they bring those huge piles of clothes over to their cart and family and they look through it and decide what they actually want. And then I would go over there like, you know, after it died down and there'd be nothing left in the bins. And you have to wait another 20 minutes for them to go through all their clothes and throw stuff they don't want back. A crazy experience, story time over. Let's go ahead and get into the clothes that I got. So this first one is this skirt that I just think is really, really pretty. Um, it's just kind of a long, like, pencil skirt, I guess. Um, it's by J. Crew, size 6. And with everything that I got, um, before we checked out, my boyfriend and I went to a secluded corner and I looked through every single piece of item. I looked for stains and rips, trying to get the best quality items I possibly could. So... Pretty much none of these things that you're going to see except for one dress that I have knowledge about having one rip in it. Um, everything is in perfect condition. So this dress, I absolutely love it. I think it's super duper cute. Next, we just have this American Eagle shirt. It's blue, has some really cute flowers on it. It has a little cinched belt at the bottom down here um, and kind of like a kind of like a different type of peplum style. I'm still trying to learn all the fashion terms, but I'm, I'm getting there. And like these really, really cute sleeves, absolutely amazing condition as well, which I'll probably say that a ton of times through this video, so please don't get too annoyed with me. Next, we have this cardigan by Umji, I guess, and it's just like a little crochet vest, and it has it's really long, it has all these tassels at the bottom. Wow, I'm so good at showing clothes. But I just thought it was super duper cute and I watch a lot of Empty Hanger here on YouTube, Jenna. She um, is kind of one of the first people that kind of inspired me to start a Poshmark because she like kicks ass at it and does this full time and just really loves it. So she was talking about MG a lot so I picked that up when I saw that. Next um, is this little thing right here. I originally thought it was a bralette, um, but looking at the tag, it is Forever 21 lingerie. Um, and it's clean, guys. Like, I can tell it's definitely clean. But um, I just thought it was really, really pretty. It's a size small. If it, was, if it was my size, I would definitely keep it because I just think it's so, so pretty and dainty. So... I think I'm going to start this one at like $9 and then work my way with offers and everything. So just thought that was super duper cute. Next we have an Old Navy top, which I know Old Navy and Forever 21 don't have high resale values, but I just really thought this was super cute and 100% my style. And it weighs practically nothing, so I figured I would pick it up because it's just so so cute and it's also a small so next we have this brand called hazel which i have an item of hazel already in my shop but it's like a sheer like kind of burgundy dark purple dress it has this really pretty like lace and a ruffle design at the bottom and i mean this material is like thin and something that could potentially snag easily but it's completely rip free flaw free like it is in absolutely perfect condition and I absolutely love it I think it's so cute next uh, we have one of the two forever 21 bodysuits that I got there was a lot of forever 21 stuff and a lot of old navy stuff because you know obviously it's a little bit pick through and people probably knew that it didn't have a lot of resale value but I'm not afraid to pick those up because I just think that there are a few pieces here and there that are really really cute and I really like a lot and that people might like as well so it's just this v-neck bodysuit and it's this tan velvet and once again I gave this a good look over and it's absolutely perfect condition as well next we have this dress that didn't really have a high resale value, but I just thought it was really, really cute. It's by BCB Generation, which I hadn't heard of 
so I don't know but I looked it over once again really good condition it has this really really adorable back that's all strappy and then just the front that and then it's also high low as well I just thought it was really beautiful and just like with that hazel dress it's absolutely perfect condition as well so I was really excited to pick that up next we have a brand called poppy garden which is another one I hadn't heard of but I just really really loved this dress and a lot of people were marking um, this brand as free people which I don't know but I did some other research and I didn't really find any correlation with them but I guess we'll see this is the dress that I was telling you guys about that has a very slight rip in the sh in the sleeve um, right there you can kind of see a little bit better and that is the only thing wrong with this whole dress um, so I will be obviously selling it as a discount and making note of it on the listing but I just thought it was really really pretty and I just couldn't pass it up it has like these really cool ruffles on it as well and I just thought this would be like so so cute for like fall with some tights and some boots or something it just gives me such a fall vibe and I don't know I just thought it was really cute so I think someone would still enjoy it even if it had a small flaw. Next I got this really really pretty cardigan. Um, it's Forever 21 Contemporary so it's like their slightly, it's their slightly more high-end section that they have. It's still Forever 21 but you know they have, they charge a little bit more for their contemporary stuff. Um, and it has this really cool pattern. And I just really like it a lot. Um, so, and it weighs practically nothing. So I figured I might as well pick it up because it's so nice. Next, we have a Ezra top. Is the brand, um, and and a lot of people labeled this as free people as well slash anthropology. I saw both, um, which I think this one might actually be. This kind of has the vibe of those brands but it's just this green top and it has like a I'm so bad at showing clothes okay it has this back and then kind of has like a bat wing style like sleeve to it with some embroidery and some lace and all the lace is intact and looks really really pretty there aren't any flaws on this one at all and I just thought the color was absolutely beautiful so I could not pass that one up either this is the second forever 21 bodysuit this is a striped red velvet off the shoulder top and it has these really cool sleeves that are like that that flare and then it's kind of like a a thong um, bodysuit I guess and I just thought it was really really nice and would look really good for like a special event or something or tucked into some high-waisted black jeans or something I thought that that would be like such a look so <laughs> I picked that up and then that's everything that I got so I had a few other items in my cart one of which was a really nice uh, made well sweater but it weighed a lot and it just it's summertime I just didn't think that that would sell let me know down below if I was wrong for leaving that behind because I I know Madewell is a really good brand that sells a lot on Poshmark but I don't know just seasonally it didn't seem right I guess so this is my basket full of clothes over here that I will be folding after this video and measuring I was kind of worried I didn't know how any of the pricing went so I had my cart you know with all these clothes in it and I was like wow I probably spent so much and then I put it on the scale and it was four pounds and they're like that'll be six dollars and I'm like what six dollars um yeah that was a lot less than I was expecting and obviously our bins were a little bit picked through so like knowing the prices in the future the lady even showed me like on her register like what everything goes for which I thought was really cool and I really appreciated that because she could tell I was new I told her I was new but she could tell you know she was like oh yeah this person has no idea what's going on um so I actually had so so much fun doing this and I'm definitely gonna be going back I 
wholeheartedly understand why resellers love the bin so much like it makes total sense thank you guys so much for watching this video i truly appreciate it and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Last a little longer do you remember when we were much better i wish we could go back to when we went singing in the rain we won't fight we'll be swinging from street lights i wish we could go back to when we went singing in the rain